so we have a product review and I gotta tell you guys you guys are gonna be blown away by what I'm about to show you a lot of us GoPro users action camera user users in general uh, always trying to find that perfect selfie stick or that mount that we can use to be able to record ourselves and also record what we are doing uh, the action that we are seeing and I came across a company called Spivo and they have a phenomenal phenomenal selfie stick uh, a lot of you guys seen the older version of the Spivo stick I'm about to show you the upgraded newer version and you guys are gonna be blown away by this uh, but first and foremost let's go ahead and jump into just a regular selfie stick as you guys can see uh, this is just one of those cheapy selfie sticks you're able to get your you know your selfie in the videos uh, and then what's the biggest hassle of using a selfie stick is when you want to record forward then you have to tend to try and you know transfer the camera facing the opposite way and what happens there is you end up loosening up your GoPro mounts or your action camera mounts you know trying to maneuver the camera some of these selfie sticks don't even have the option to be able to do you know the 180 twist on there and so you're having to take your GoPro completely off your selfie stick and then you're losing your action for instance I do a lot of diving so when I'm diving you know I want to get myself in video and let's say there's a big old fish that I want to get on video I have to grab this camera switch it around to the 180 position and then by the time I do all that, all my movement already spooked that fish way and I lost that footage. Uh, so let's jump into the Spivo stick, you guys. What's really awesome about this, uh, you can see it comes in a nice Spivo bag and let's just jump right into it. Check this out, you guys. Very awesome. As you can see, there has been a lot of upgrades and I will definitely be going over that with you guys on this new product. Uh, so basically, what is the Spivo stick? You have a selfie stick like so and you can see there's a button here you have your thumb nut that's going to be where your action camera mounts to and what it does is you push that button for instance i'm recording you and when i want to record myself just a quick easy push of the button now you can see i'm doing a full selfie of myself and then when i want to transfer back over just a quick button just a quick click that's all it takes um we're gonna jump into some of the updates of the Spivo stick. So this is running you at 20 inches long, very lightweight. The material is made of, uh, I forget what it's called, a polycarbonate -car material. And it's like the same material they use for the hockey boards. Uh, they also put this type of material inside of you know the bulletproof vest and stuff like that so it's a very durable material you don't have to worry about you know you end up dropping it and breaking it it's not gonna happen um, some of the upgrades we'll go over which is you're gonna notice on the original Spivo stick this is the Spivo 360 on the Spivo stick it had a very big logo and a lot of people had problems with that I personally don't I don't see a problem with representing you know a company for their amazing product uh, but I guess what uh, what they had on their older version was a big sticker that said Spivo and a lot of people were getting that into their selfie videos and stuff and they didn't like it. So Spivo actually listened to a lot of uh, other reviewers and they made their logo a lot smaller on their product. Um, another thing is this, the upgraded version comes with a stainless steel sealed bearing inside of the mechanism so you don't have to worry about clogging up or when you're trying to push the button it jams up on you it's all upgraded for underwater uh, adventures out out of water adventures etc etc uh, another thing is that they did a lower trigger uh, on it so I guess the older version had a higher trigger and people also didn't like that because it was showing you know a lot of the big trigger inside of the video while they were capturing uh, and as I stated this is 20 inches long it also on the newer version is coming with the black lanyard I guess it used to be a red lanyard uh, coloration really doesn't matter to me on a product it really doesn't uh, you are able to use any type of action camera and also they have a mount that you can actually put your smartphone on which is really cool so if you don't have GoPros or you know ion action cameras or anything in that nature 
you can get the mount to be able to put your smartphone on and use it the same exact way, which is really cool. Uh, it is waterproof as stated, so you can take this into the water. It is salt water friendly, and all they advise is after salt water, as any other material, you rinse it off with fresh water. Uh, you get a five year warranty on there, and it does come with the mount, you guys. The, the five year, we'll jump into the five year warranty. It does cover any type of uh, where if, the, if it was to function improperly, you know, then they will cover your warranty. So it's, it's phenomenal, you guys. Check this out, very easy clicks. They did upgrade the trigger as well to make it 30 times lighter to push. So you do get, you know, an easier push. I guess the older version was a little harder to push. So people were having problems with that. And that's understandable, you know, and it's awesome that they actually listened to a lot of other people's reviews because now, you know, it's, you know, kids, you know, younger kids can be able to push that button with ease and not have any problems. Uh, I have not gotten my hands on the older version, so I cannot tell you the difference between the pushes, uh, but it is definitely very simple to push. And you can see it's about the same size as any other selfie stick, so it's not like you're getting too much of, you know, bulkiness or, or anything in that nature. Another really cool thing that I like about what Spiro did is we have a buoy and this basically connects onto your Spiro stick so when you're out diving and stuff like that you don't have to worry about using you know the GoPro floating device anymore where a lot of people were actually using for when you go dive you know you had to worry about dropping your stick or whatnot plus you got your lanyard it's always best to keep your lanyard on your wrist secured uh, but now we have the Spivo buoy and you're able to connect that right onto your Spivo stick and so if you you know something happens you're out surfing or whatnot and you drop that you know your whole Spivo stick with your camera and everything else is going to float right back onto the top of the surface so really cool I'll give you guys a quick in, in view of that and then it just basically describes how to use it. We'll go ahead and open this and I'll show you guys. I don't want to drag the uh, review out too long because we are going to get some other footage in this video. So I don't want to make it, you know, a 45 minute long video. I just want to make sure that I do cover all the basics. So that's how the Spivo buoy opens up. I'm hoping I'm saying the name right. And uh, so all it does is just clips right onto the stick there. And it has the Velcro and then you just go right inside like this pretty common you know common sense and then you just tying it up like that and you can have it you know and you can see the view of the buoy is not going to be in the way of the actual footage so it's not like it's over bulked or anything like that in that nature we are going to go hit the water right now go do some diving see what we can see and uh stay tuned hope you guys are enjoying
right, so we are done. We are out of the water, and I have to tell you, I am blown away by this product. It is phenomenal, very comfortable in the hand, easy to use, very simple to function, very durable, and it's just, it's all, all in all, I give it a 10 out of 10 stars, you guys. Uh, you guys seen, I did a test with the buoy, throwing it on the bottom of the water and watching it float back to surface. Uh, no issues about losing your GoPro. The mount did not come loose whatsoever. Very durable, very strong. It's perfect. Uh, the hand strap is one thing I was trying to show you guys. You can actually function this with just one hand. So you just push this little button here and you're able to tighten that down and you don't have to lose it. So you don't have to necessarily use two hands to be able to use the strap. Uh, it's awesome you guys in the water another thing that I want to point out is I was wearing gloves and one thing that I was gonna I was basically trying to do was get that glove stuck when I was pushing the button because uh, my gloves are actually loose so you can wear this or you can use this with gloves loose gloves your gloves are not gonna get stuck inside the crevices that's one thing I was trying to actually do intentionally to see if it would become an issue because one thing you don't want to have when you're diving or any kind of activities you don't want to have any issues where you know you push that button and next thing you know your glove is stuck and then you got to try to figure out how to get it out so I didn't have any issues at all with that with loose gloves um, it's phenomenal very unique design and what I love the most about this it's all one hand I'm able to do everything with just one hand I'm not having to unscrew anything to change the view of my camera and then you have to edit all that out in your videos this is editing hassle free it's all just just one click of a button you guys very unique I love it so Spivel they did such a phenomenal job as stated I hope I'm saying that name right and that ends it for this product review I'll be leaving all the information down below in the description of what we went over and also the links so much love and respects and I am up and out peace